Greetings, my name is Jonathan Frederick Walls, and I'm curator of American art here at the Columbus Museum. We're looking at a painting by Paul Berlin, a not very well-known artist in the United States these days, but in the early 20th century, he was really important. Um, one of the first, um, one of the Americans to be included in the Armory Show in 1913. Right after that show, he um, heads west and ends up in the area of New Mexico and Colorado. Um, and that's the subject and time period of this painting. Um, if you're familiar with uh, the region around Santa Fe, you'll immediately identify this church as the one that's in Las Trampas. Um, it's a Spanish mission church and um, made of adobe. These, it's very distinctive with these um, uh, sort of thick walled, uh, thick walls here made out of adobe. Um, this gate is distinctive and it's one of the few that has a symmetry um, next to the building itself. The thing that helps us identify this as Las Trampas is the curve in the road, which is very distinctive um, if you take the high road from Santa Fe to Taos. Um, I'm currently doing some research on the architect John Gaume, Meme, who was based in Santa Fe. His practice opened in 1924. This church he attended with a friend Ash Wednesday service, and because of attending that service, he became familiar with the building and realized that the Spanish mission churches in New Mexico at the time were being maintained but really could use some TLC to make sure that they would be around for other people in future generations. And so Meem, from his experience at this particular church, um, decides to start a group of philanthropists and others concerned about saving these churches and um, they systematically worked through many of the churches in Mex New Mexico um, making sure that they would survive for future uh, worshipers and architecture lovers. Um, Berlin's showing us um, some local color here with some cows and possibly a goat or a dog and uh, a local inhabitant um, sort of overseeing the animals. In New Mexico, Berlin meets his wife, who's an ethnomusicologist studying Native American uh, music. And unfortunately, after they go to Paris, um, she's hit by a car and dies. And so her associations with New Mexico really are difficult for Berlin to sort of um, hold on to. So he, we believe destroys a lot of the work that he made in New Mexico, making this painting really important. You can see his interest in Paul Cezanne, which he would have um, had a chance to see paintings by Cezanne in the Armory Show. Um, the palette, certainly, um, and the flattening of forms, um, but also that kind of sort of look that uh, Provence has, that Cezanne captures, um, uh, Berlin is bringing to this painting as well.